Hello, I am Christina L. Turner, Kingmaker. Welcome to my channel today. Um, today is gonna be a little bit different. I do have information, but today I am unable to share any information um, with you uh, today because my heart is so very, very heavy. Um, as we all know across the world, the situation that happened in Buffalo, New York uh, this past weekend. Um, I have affiliation with the city of Buffalo. I was born in Buffalo, New York. Um, I wasn't raised too much there just in my early part of years. And um, I remember visiting my grandparents. We lived in Hamburg uh, when I became a senior um, in high school, I went back to Western New York and lived with my grandparents. So when I graduated in my senior year, because I wanted to go to prom and all that stuff, my heart is so heavy. Um, the people, a few of the people I've actually had direct and indirect contact with them is either that I directly affiliated myself with them or I knew their family members, um, and I would have never expected anything like this to happen in Buffalo. Um, in my adult years, I have been a uh, minister of the gospel in the city of Buffalo, New York. I'm a worship leader in the city of Buffalo, New York. Um, a community um, in the community doing community things in the city of Buffalo, New York. And for the most part, it is a, definitely a city of good neighbors. Um, it is very unfortunate. I've been to that supermarket numerous of times with my friends, uh, with my, my, my God brother and his family. Um, it's just a really sad thing. So today I, I can't even think about money or anything like that today i think if it just really finally hit me last night i always get delayed responses but my heart is extremely extremely heavy and um i just offer my condolences to the families that i that do know me and i know them and i'm, I'm not going to name drop i don't think it's anybody's business but to every family that has been affected by this situation, to all the pastors, to all of the, um, to the mayor, to all of everyone that's working on this case. And I'm, I'm going to be very careful with my words is that justice really does need to be had on this. And um, I'm just, my condolences is to the family, to every family. I, I definitely, this was so unexpected. Um, I, I did not see it on television. My father who lives in a whole nother state called me um, to tell me, and I was completely silent for a whole 60 seconds. Um, I have best friends and that still live in the city of Buffalo. Um, and actually one of my friends were going to, was on her way to the store right after I spoke to her on Saturday and her instinct just told her to just go home. Um, so, and she's one of my very, very best friends. <sighs> So this is a sorrowful uh, period. Um, I'm not going to, um, maybe I'll be back next week and um, I can give you guys an update on scholarships and um, grants and things like that that you need, but just Today, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not able to, to do that. This is just a really, um, this is a very, very sad time. Very, very sad. And I'm praying for the pastors of those families. I'm praying for the city 
of, of Buffalo. And we, we do know that there is not just systemic racism, but there are some overt racism in the city of Buffalo. And Buffalo is a very, and can be a very racist community. It can be. Um, I've experienced it on the outskirts um, and it doesn't matter how financially affluent you are or you are not, um, but I'm trying to figure out, you know, with the FBI, the CIA, and all of these three letter agencies, and you guys are constantly watching and paying attention. I'm just trying to figure out when y'all are going to stop allowing this to happen on people of color. And that, um, and then the disparity on how we get arrested, you know, um, I saw one of the actors, Viola Davis did a post. I think she shared it on Facebook where there was such a huge disparity on how we as people of color are handled for a crime versus people not of color. And the injustice of that, um, the slap on the wrist for our people being murdered and the murderers are not um, are given just due. Um, It's just a very um, trying situation. And I can't even imagine how my dad is 20 years older than me and me being in, in my mid fifties. And the only difference that, that I see in regard to the progression of people of color economically, we are we have progressed in so many areas. Educationally, we have progressed in so many areas. But when it comes to socially and the system that what we would consider the powers that be that we put in office or that we don't put in office, we are still in Jim Crow era, but it's more glamorous than before. Like we just literally had to the Biden administration just literally had to make hanging a crime. All this technology, crypto coins, which imaginary money worth billions of dollars, the uh, pharmaceutical science, everything has progressed except humankind we for 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 what we're doing and what's happening and it doesn't matter if you're in a in a interracial relationship non-interracial relationship gay bi straight whatever if you're christian if you're a spiritual it doesn't matter. We're progressing on those areas where people are becoming more acceptable of, um, it seems more acceptable of 
who you are um, in relate to your level of spirituality, your economic um, growth, all of this stuff, but we are still having a skin issue. And I'm trying to find out why are we still having a skin issue, a DNA issue, a melatonin, not melatonin, a melanin issue. We still having these issues and having, using biblical language, um, uh, it's, it's not working. Um, it, it is not working. Um, I heard the attorney for the defendant say during a press conference that this terrorist, because that's what he is, this domestic terrorist, is innocent until proven guilty. with video while he's ending the life of people live streaming, but he's innocent until proven guilty. And I, I know a lot of lawyers and judges that sits on benches in Buffalo, New York, and that operates the law within Buffalo, New York. And I watch Mayor Byron Brown, who's a friend, and watch Councilwoman Crystal Peoples, I, I watched their faces. I, I, I saw the agony because that is one of the things is, is it was so insensitive for even if you're defending someone, if you take on the role of defending a criminal, or the defendant allegedly, because technically there is no allegedly, there is no allegedly when we literally have it on camera, when thousands around the world have literally saw people being gunned down. And we wanna use terms allegedly, we wanna use terms as innocent until when the evidence is there. And you know, you know, um, you know what song that comes to my in my head. You know, I always have these, you know, the there was a song back in the 90s called It Wasn't Me. My heart hurts. I am so devastated because I know people who are close to me, who families, families that I know, people that I've hugged, people that I've sat down with. Um, broke bread with that they have family members who are gone too soon by the hands of someone that had malicious intent. So I say to the FBI and um, to the CIA and all that I know that you guys are on it, but I really want you to be on it, on it and comb this through like a fine tooth comb. Um, and I really pray for I pray for us. Um, those that are praying 
and those that are very spiritual, I pray that we get on our job. And um, we get on our job and we do what we need to do in the realm of the spirit, because that's the only thing that I believe that's going to turn this around. I saw a post that someone says, this is a God situation that only God can do it. Well, this is the way that I feel um, about the situation. We are God. And some people may not agree with me, but I believe in Genesis chapter two, that we are creating the image and the likeness of God. And um, I believe that we operate in the image and likeness of God. And that's the spiritual aspect of us. And so I would say for us, tap in. Because um, this is not over. Um, it's becoming a trend. Um, it's going to happen again. It, it happened the next day somewhere else. Somebody went somewhere else and started killing in a, in a, um, in a church. There's no scripture that can make this, the pain go away for these families and their friends and associates like me and there's nothing that we can, um, no words, but there will be justice. I do believe that. I do believe that on the one accord, you know, um, I believe in what happened in Acts. Everybody was on the one accord and the spirit of the Lord came through. Um, I think we need to be on one accord um, and bring the fire and um, bring the fire, the spiritual fire. That's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Um, because if we're, we, we can't keep waiting and pity patting and, you know, sitting with our hands folded um, like I said, I'm, I'm in my mid fifties and we're still, we're still on this, on this situation. And I just, I don't see government changing anything. Why? They benefit off of it. They benefit off of giving people guns that are strictly for military I don't think any human person who's not affiliated with the military should have those guns. And just to say that, you know, even me working, you know, um, for the government, you know, when when my assignment is, is over or, or when, when, if I leave a government job, I have to turn in badges and all that other stuff and security clearance codes and make sure and if we have to do that on a job why are, I'm not understanding why are we allowing people to purchase guns like that like a, a regular human being why what how is it necessary we're not going to even talk about the intent of driving 200 miles to with a weapon like that to do harm. We're not going to even talk about stalking the, the place um, and being weird before the actual crime was committed. We're not going to even talk about that. But what I am going to say is with my condolences to the families and to their friends and to the and just the whole entire community because it's, it's going to be a lot of work um trying to navigate not just the family's loss but the community as well because I 
I feel like our teeth are literally are on edge it's as if we have eaten sour grapes and um, we are tired of it. Um, when is it gonna stop? And this is about skin color. When is it going to stop? Not because somebody did something to you, but because the way that they were born, how they were look, how they look. When is it going to stop? So, no, I, I can't talk about money today and probably not tomorrow. I, I don't, you know, I just need a, I need a break and, and I'm concerned about the people, about people that I lay hands on, you know, that I prayed for, or people called me about, or <laughs> Nikki, I want to tell you that I love you and thank you. Um, I love you. So that's all I have for you today. And um, I wish that you would prosper. And be in good health, even as your soul prosper. God bless.